welcome to Let's Be Blunt, Bachelor Edition. Yeah. I'm your host, Kato Kaitlin. You know, we all have love with family and friends, and of course, your right hand. Or when you want something different, your left hand. Or for those really, really special nights, both hands. But there comes a time where you have to find love from a soulmate. And that time has come for these two bachelors. <laughs> Who are we kidding? They'll still be using their right hands. Have you seen these guys? Meet John Provent, successful international businessman who has a lot to offer and expects the same. What does a woman have to do to win your heart? Uh, say hello. Well, he's in luck because all of our bachelorettes are really friendly. And hi. You're going to leave with a woman here tonight. I don't know if it's going to be her. Would you be pretty excited about that? Wait and see what happens. Our other bachelor is Joe Janolo, a man of many talents. From singing to acting, he's often mistaken for Keanu Reeves. Stop the bus, dude. There's a bomb. I don't know you, man, but there's a bomb on the bus. I think that imitation was a bomb. You got anything else? Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves. That explains the restraining order. And it's not the only secret he has. You could say he's a slippery kind of guy. With some coercion and free pot, okay, a lot of free pot, these lovely ladies have agreed to play the dating game. Your ideal man My is... My ideal man? Yeah. Funny as fuck, compassionate, open-minded. Very open-minded, you know? It's important to be progressive and to, uh, be okay with a whole myriad of things, yeah. Yeah, and maybe he would be a Pisces. How about 10,000 of them? Would you share your man with others? I don't see a problem with being experimental with your partner. You can tell I'm in love when blank. Um. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that on TV. Sure you can. According to George Carlin, there are seven words you can't say on TV, and I'm not gonna be the guy to break that rule. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Thanks, Father. We tried to get Sister Margaret married, but she was busy uh, filming Wife Swap. Tiffany, in the bedroom, what is the one thing a man must be good at? Oral sex. You know, oral sex, I mean... Touch is just very important. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Touch with intention. He has to be generous with his time, his attention, and his heart, and support you in everything you do and protect you, because you'll give 150% back to him. That was a great answer. <laughs> Well, no wonder she was up for Miss USA. Boy, South Carolina could have used her. I personally believe that US Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps. And uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I believe that they should uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future. Rich geeky guy versus a hot dude. Oh, definitely a rich and geeky. Rich and geeky guy who's good and bad. It's rich and geeky. Well, hey we've hit the jackpot. Meet John. Hello. Hi, Hi. John. Hi. <laughs> well, uh, that went over like a fart in church. Hey, uh, sound guy, uh, can we get some applause? Meet John! And the competition begins. So Between yourselves, you're man. all so beautiful. Who do you think is the most beautiful if you had to decide yourselves? Well, I mean, not oh, only do I bring name? physical beauty to the <laughs> table, but I'm very deep as well and whole within myself and ready to take the leap with somebody else because I've had the sacred union within myself, so now I'm ready to take. So you're voting for yourself. 
Absolutely. Is anybody not voting for themselves? Well, it goes into my reason for voting for myself. Okay. I think that true beauty is being able to see beauty everywhere, and I just think that you are all so beautiful, and the fact that I appreciate your beauty so much must make me the most beautiful. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was a pretty good answer. The girls clearly want to win his wallet. I, I mean art. Brooke wants to impress him with song. It's just a good vibration. But you know, neither one has been popular in a while, right? Because he's now a big time actor. Can I uh, join you guys? Sure. Cool. Get on in here. Let's party. Let's have a good time. It's a beautiful night, right? It is. I mean, it's like totally rocking, right? What's your favorite song? I actually have a tattoo on my body. It's Let It Be. Let's see it. Let It Be. It's uh, oh. Let It Be. Wow. Let's check it out. <laughs> Can we check it out? Wow. That's Turn around crazy. that way. You want to show the world that tattoo, that's for sure. I didn't see that tattoo. Uh, can we see it again? Still didn't see it, but I'm good. <laughs> Take your shirt off. I'll take it off later. Take it off now. Okay, okay. you're the boss. That's right. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to catch the rays off John's chest. What you gonna do when you get out of jail? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have, have some fun. fun. <laughs> what do you consider fun? Fun, natural fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> have you heard this? I've heard it, it's awesome. Yeah, Mariah Carey like took a little bit of that and put that into one of her songs. A little sampling. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a little sampling when you got six girls. Oh. oh my god. Competition just got a little bit tougher for you. Wow. Joe wastes no time. Find a star in the sky. Does Joe score more points by smoking a joint? Or does John tease with his legal ease? You know, I'm all for marijuana. I think a marijuana should be legal 100% for sure. Nationwide? Nationwide. <laughs> Damn nationally. straight. I believe in that. God <laughs> save the hemp seed. You know, you know, you know, you know people don't have to drink, they don't have to smoke, but that doesn't mean you have to be, don't have to be for it, right? Classy Lauren is a bit bored and pulls out yoga moves. Exactly. If you have the inside of your ankle here, you have Joe's this mudra right here, you can easily... You can easily move into fuck you mudra by taking down these two fingers. <laughs> and and then flex the foot. Well said. Flex the foot. And then you can roll your eyes to look at your third eye, but also to be like, whatever. Do it, do it. Oh yeah, that's Beautiful. a powerful pineal activator. Beautiful. John, what are you doing? I'm scratching. John. Pick a girl. All the roses are dead. Give somebody a banana. The studio is closing. Jeez, pick somebody. I'm in such a good position. I get to choose one of you. Unbelievable. I mean, it's impossible. But if you could be with me, I'd like to give you this. Tiffany. Oh, John. I'm shocked. Thank you. Um, I guess this means I won. I won't let you down, John. Wow. I'll never let you down. Wow. Do you love a good banana? I think I made a good choice. What does everybody else think? But as they say, there are no losers in this game. Joe ended up actually getting a BJ, a banana job. People, what were you thinking? I'm happy to report Tiffany and John found love. They were married and all four of his sons were at the wedding. Unfortunately, the marriage only lasted two weeks, but Tiffany is now engaged to John's oldest son. As for Joe, well, he met his demise at the LA Zoo, where he got too close to the ape exhibit. Joe is now a woman. <laughs> but let's face it, he already had the man boobs. See you next time on Let's Be Blunt. I'm Kato Galen. <laughs>